Driving to the hills of Mokko, going through these bushes, it seems there is no sign of civility. These bushes are called Barbel Store Bush, where Barbel Dove birds are found. Mocha is located in the parish of Clarendon, Jamaica, yet is unknown by many who live on the island. It is a collection of about 52 district settlements where farming is its main stay. In Belmont, Mocha, there is a cave that 90% of the residents were completely unaware of. On January 1, 2014, Dennis Stanbury, who is a former resident of Mokko, invited residents to a cookout so they could eat and explore the adventure. Hello guys, I'm Shamara Bins from Grassroot Production and the Moko Village crew and we're here in Moko Carindon at the Belmont Cave. There is a scrub vegetation at the entrance of the cave, with entrance size 3 to 6 meters wide and about 4 meters high. A team of youngsters from the Mokka village crew went inside to do their research. Mr. Clark, who is a resident of Mokka, led the team. There is a varana at the cave. Okay, the varana. So there's a beautiful too. view out there. Okay. You're looking at sunlight outside. Okay. okay. Um, there is a bunch of bananas, a, a hand of bananas behind you. Okay. Turn. Go on, Michelle. Here is it. <laughs> Whoa, that's beautiful. <laughs> Looks just like a hand of banana. This is awesome. <laughs> Mr. Clark lit his bottle torch as he went inside the cave, which is very dark. Inside the cave is made up of white limestones. Limestone is a sedimentary rock composed largely of minerals. Many limestones are composed from skeletal fragments of marine organisms, such as coral. Due to the minimal amount of sunlight, inside the cave is 25 degrees Celsius semi-humid. The cave was last visited in 2010 in assistance to the Biodiversity Division of NEPA and their investigation into the current status of bat roast in Jamaica. Deep inside the cave, there are stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactite is a type of formation that hangs from the ceiling of caves, hot springs, or man-made structures, such as bridges and mines. Stalagmite is a type of rock formation that rises from the floor of the cave due to the constant drippings. Them here are just the water we drip now. Farm. Ah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Just the water. You see? 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 You see?
Rapat <laughs> kiri ni. Bat Gunos live inside the cave. See some more. Then they are both in a little hole. So when them kill them, them thing now, them food. I just saw them stay and eat it. Ah, you see them eat it. You see how them them little thing? Shelly, yo. Ah, eat them and eat. So what them eat? Eat them, but them here now. No, 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 no. I didn't do it. Yeah. You understand? The best manure you can so find in the whole world. Yeah, them yeah, them man. The more richest manure. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Them here. Yeah. Rat back manure. Rat back manure. Yeah. Yeah. You see them, them water drip, you know? Yeah. And them farming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thing and, and, you look at that. And I saw them, them drain come yeah. down. Yeah. I saw them, it's told them grow. Yeah. So the next couple thousand years are, are, are you know, they've got no come before time. <laughs> them thing have to come down. Yeah. And come be spiked. The Maka village team went deeper inside the cave. Oh, I'm so tired. We've passed through the veranda, the first floor, second floor. We've seen a lot of stalagmites, water dripping, little slip and slides. I'm so tired, but still yet we haven't finished the cave. I even wrote my name on the first day of 2014. So we're continuing our journey now through this beautiful cave. My name is Leon Clark. They call me Four. <laughs> I think I'm the eldest one in this cave right now. And I've been here in this cave from the, from the 70s. I couldn't recall what year, but from the 70s, there's nowhere in the cave that I know. Ian Morrison told us how dangerous it can be if the thunder should roll. My name is Ian Maris. That's what one. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, I'm telling you, say, say, if you hey, thunder roll, touch. who want to touch? And when you're under them, I'm going to go back. I'm telling you, there's me. Shot, 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 shot. When a man has bust a gunshot at your ear, sir. Yeah, but it's black. You know, terrible, sir. You come like your life done, this, sir. <laughs> to how it is, horrible. Yeah, God, so right here now, if you're a man under your son, you just take time, move. I say, no, you're not no speed, just take time. You sit in the cold, you wrap back on your and the water drip. You kind of sip it. Everyone who went inside the cave wrote their names. These writing was written from 1982. My name is Dennis Stanberg. I'm from Moko. Um, I'm from the Moko Hills here. I'm from actually from Amsterdam. And um, you know, I, I live in New York. And the cave, Moko is always on my mind. You know, I come home basically once a year or twice a year. But I've, I've been to a lot of places over the world, you know, Cuba, Hawaii, Costa Rica, Dominica, Panama, where and I've visited a lot of different um, attractions that they have. I pay a lot of money for these tours. But I always think about where I'm from in the hills because we have some nice places over there, but nobody don't know about them. So I started this organization, MocoVillage.com, to really showcase the beautiful gems of, of um, This cave has been around from Arawak time. It has been around from before Jesus walked on the earth. Probably from dinosaurs. The person dinosaurs used to be down here with them stories. This is form already. She give them reggae, give them beaches, give them flowers and the ferns. All she got is abuse in return. But I say, don't you worry yourself, mama. Hey, Chronix is here to your help, mama. Ooh, I said, no worry yourself, mommy. Yes, it is great. It was great. Honestly, wet, slippery and everything, but I enjoyed myself. Yes, it was great. So did you step in the right bad pieces? Mm -hmm. I also used to mark my name. Yes. And 
nice uh, carves out of the stones and so forth. It was great. And it, it was an awesome experience. I I went exactly to the basement, I think, and we have to crawl, we have to stoop very low to go under there. And trust me, it was so nice. We look up into the, the extreme top. Oh, wow, it was awesome. I'm happy I was invited and I'm happy I'm on board with this team now. Um, it's it's inspiring. Going down the trail was long, it was winding at some areas, it was slippery, very slippery when we in some areas. I had to get low. We're planning to come to Tamsdown, there's another cave in Victoria, named Peace River Cave. That cave has water in it. This cave has no water in it, as far as I heard that if you go far, far down, you have water. In Tamsdown, there's another cave, Peace River. And I'm trying to link people there, I don't know anybody. Hey, you no, know, go with my blue drawers and ask me if it's done the interview. You Alright, so we're planning to go there next. Big things we have planned for the Mokobu. So go on to the site, mokobillage.com. So this is our ending, exploring the cave, inside out, drinking, eating, walking, tirelessly, just having a grand time, exploring this beautiful place. And we have come to an end, and I have to say bye-bye for now. I am Shamar Bins from Grassroot Production and Moko Village. Thank you.